Hauser, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went... There I am. Along with all the other winners. I should say... Artists instead. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. I need to drop some serious cash in there. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. The revolution will not be televised. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay, some mysteries should stay that way. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. How do these galleries afford to rent here? God, you must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells... yet. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name. But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Dick. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your notes. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, 
long you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Like... Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm no fucking lens. way. Can Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Black. I do not understand art. How much would you pay for that? Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... doing to time. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... 
weird going on with you. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. I promise. This... I promise. This final dose won't hurt. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? No, David, no! Jesus! This final dose won't hurt. David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I would... David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. I promise. 
This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Shut the fuck up, okay? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> Jesus. Did Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh... You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Could he please at least play some music? So I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. Excuse me, but my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that?
No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. <laughs> David Madsen. Of course. Oh, stop me. You need to stop me. Grab that bottle. Shoot! <laughs> You are not going to stop that bottle. Shoot. <clears throat> going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. Oh. Going to stop me. Jefferson, it's Grab over. Your gun now. Got it. Jefferson, it's over! David, kick that table! Yes, sir! <clears throat> Jefferson, it's over! He's hiding a gun over there! Jefferson, it's over! Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. No. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. Hey, Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Don't blame yourself. Nathan and Jefferson are the ones who put her up there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun, and I almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. 
I think she only learned how to hate my guts. I'm sure you know I, uh, I hit her the other day. I know you're sorry. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I. I saw. Him. Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David. Thank you. For saving me. idea he was this sick. 
Jefferson looks so pathetic now. David? Jefferson? I'm glad. I always just... I... You shouldn't have. He wasn't a real... I wasn't... Hey, Max. Don't blame... I knew... Jefferson... That pervert... No. We all make the... Maybe. I think. I know you're sorry. I'm not gonna make. I tried to be. I, I shouldn't. I'm. Go I try. And you say. I just want to see her safe. David, um. Well, she was pretty stressed out, so. Um, she went to go, um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. And use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. Frank isn't a bad person, but... He can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. No. You won't be going, Jefferson. To any more shows. No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott Cash. How? Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed for him. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. That photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max. 
Jackson. It's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or... I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody just used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Get down! 